Let's open the Terror Prime Weapons Locker. Greetings, Terra Prime viewers, Star Wars fans, and sabering enthusiasts. TPLA Apprentice Celine here, and today I'm going to be uh, bringing to you a new episode in the Terra Prime uh, Weapons Locker featuring this beauty right here. This is the Force Relics Kota. So, as uh, name implies, it, it uh, is a General Rom Kota replica done by Force Relics for the character from Star Wars The Force Unleashed. And uh, this one is meant to be a uh, fairly ac uh, screen accurate representation. Uh, this is a non-weathered version. Uh, you can get um, a battle damaged weathered version as well. Um, you have a uh, choice obviously for a regular wrap, an Ito wrap as I've chosen here. Uh, you can also get brown or the black. Uh, for for your wrap, and I believe there's also a, an even lighter color, but um, you can of course check out Force Relics for that. So, uh, before we get started, uh, one thing uh, we'll mention, I've uh, been using the Sabre for a while now. Uh, for those who are somewhat um, curious about uh, kind of uh, how to, you know, the actual wrapping and uh, some fans of actual Japanese swords. I've actually got a comparison here with me that we can have a quick look at just so you can see uh, how, how the wrap on the Force Relics compares to an actual Japanese uh, replica of an actual Japanese sword. Well, dagger in this case. Uh, this is my uh, uh, a Tonto from my own collection. So um, there's, again, a uh, black leather wrap. This one's kind of a suede versus, uh, versus um, a, yeah, an actual non-suede leather. So <clears throat> if you can kind of see the Ito there, uh, it does have a pretty good approximate, approximation. Uh, diamonds are pretty good. Uh, obviously, because of the cylindrical nature of a lightsaber, it's not going to be the same profile as that of an actual bladed sword. But, for an actual comparison purposes, it actually looks pretty good. In, in fact, the Ito on the Force Relics is better done than uh, that on uh, this particular sample here of this Tonto, which is a Hanway Raptor, if you're curious. Uh, the Ito diamonds are, of course, slightly uneven due to things like the Manuki and whatnot, whereas, uh, obviously, that's a non-issue on a perfectly machined aluminum tube. So, we'll get that out of the way. Uh, so, uh, initial impressions, handling is very nice. Uh, the Ito wrap is on there nice and tight. Hasn't come loose through any usage. Um, the only thing that might be bothersome to somebody if you are planning on using this for sparring saber combat is these bits here of this suede does flop around a little bit um thing to do might be to just take some painter's tape and tape that down uh, if you're an emitter grabber because of the thicker circumference here um, it might not totally suit you but if you grab on the ito or where the ito would be it sits pretty nicely easy access to both thumb switches and overall feels really good. So uh, we'll get into some of the other specifications. So uh, you have uh, you do have a pretty good selection of Plector Labs sound cards from Force Relics. Uh, my sample here has got the Crystal Shard 2.5 so, um, big retention screw is 564th, if you're curious. Uh, it does come with a uh, blade plug, or at least mine did. It's just a basic, um, basic blade plug. And so, I'll be doing the uh, uh, 
showing you with um, an Ultra Sabres 32 inch Ultra Edge heavy grade blade. It's a fairly common blade stock, so I figure most people have experience with the Ultra Edge. So just tightened that down. Uh, for an emitter that has um, the, um, s uh, the, I guess the slanted emitter is uh, the most appropriate term for it. It's, um, it, there's no wiggle or anything. I know certain uh, emitters with uh, um, slanted cut tend to, people tend to be concerned that uh, it doesn't sit securely. It's in there nice and solid no issues. So, and with, uh, with this Sabre being equipped with Crystal Shard uh, 2.5, it does use, or is capable of using Crystal Focus version 7.7 .7 and 7.5 optimized fonts to a certain extent. So we'll fire that up and you can have a look. A Jedi does not need eyes to see. Draw instead upon the Force. Uh, Force Relics does offer custom kill key with the Sabre regardless of sound option. I think that even comes with on uh, if you get the Nano Biscotti version. Uh, with Obviously with Crystal Shard 2.5 it does have a deep sleep mode so if you want to take this onto a convention floor you can leave the kill key in a safe place. Don't have to worry about losing it or uh, nice and safe in the pocket. So the first boot up sound you heard that is the Kota sound font that comes uh, standard with any of the sound uh, equipped versions. Obviously the stunt can't come with a sound font because it doesn't have sound. But um, that is the first font and standard which I have left. Motion sounds are very quick. Reflects uh, Kota's fighting style being primarily Form 7 very quick, according to the canon. Blaster block. And lock up. And this, the Crystal Shard 2.5 also has the silent boot up and operation. That's also a feature. Uh, inside, for any saber with flash on clash, and you have uh, the Tri-Cree green, green, white. So you that is basically their Tri-LED option. Uh, those wanting color mixing and things like that, I don't believe it's an option at all because this is meant to be a Coda replica. So you probably want to talk to them if you do want something different, but I'm pretty sure it's only available in green. So I'll just go through the rest of the sandbags. So that was now sandbag number one. Mad Cow's Rogue. Sort of the Jedi. This is the Crystal Focus version 7 and up version of the font, so it's got the extra swing and clash sounds. Fates, kind of uh, episode one and some somewhat Qui-Gon inspired fonts or font I thought would uh, help with uh, uh, the green blade, just seemed to suit it. Mac 
Cow's hero. Can you tell him a Mad Cow font fan? <laughs> is Revolt by Lord Blaco. This particular font is just one of the uh, uh, Crystal Focus version 7 and 7.5 stock fonts, but I just really like how it sounds, so I thought it would be a nice addition to the saber as the last font. back in. So, uh, that is the Saber. Again, Force Relics, Kota, and uh, obviously you can check that out at the Force Relics website. And as uh, one of, uh, some, as a, of course, somebody who does Kendo and Sabering Enthusiast, uh, I was uh, quite surprised at just how well this was done when I first opened it up. And it has been uh, just kind of a, a go-to grab saver. Just really like the way it was done in like the, I mean, the minor thing about, uh, you know, the dangling suede is, you know, like that's the only real thing I, you could possibly criticize about this. Everything else, you know, it's to your, pretty much to your liking. I suppose if somebody really wants a Coda replica and don't want green, why do you want a Coda replica? Um, but if you definitely want the most screen accurate one, this is probably the way to go, especially if you get a weathered version. Uh, like I said, uh, there's plenty of sound options, Plector Labs options, so you know that uh, you are getting uh, you know, a pretty good, pretty good sound card. And uh, the I think the Crystal Shard 2.5, I know uh, I've uh, liked it, and a few of the other Terra Prime uh, um, uh, members, especially uh, Mr. Nero has one in his uh, Revan and I uh, believe it's also uh, in uh, at least one of, uh, I think in one of Master Anonymous's sabers. So, uh, solid sound card, nice saber, uh, it, like I said, it's held up really nice. Ito is great, so if you, even if uh, you're maybe not the biggest fan of uh, the Coda character, but you are, like me, maybe into a uh, Japanese martial arts, uh, Japanese sword enthusiast, this might be a saber for you to take a look at as well. So, that is uh, the Force Relics Coda. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. May the Force be with you.